Hello everyone, this is Jordy here. Welcome to another video edition of Working with Homestead Websites Site Builder Program. Today I'm going to show you how to create an image banner using Site Builder, and then we're going to talk about how you can formulate an HTML code that will link the banner to whatever web page that you want your visitor to go to. Um, you can paste this code in places like MySpace or Blogger or Craigslist, wherever HTML code is required. Okay, the first thing that I've done is I have added a red rectangle using the Add Rectangle element. Then I use the Add Text element. At the top of Site Builder where it says Clone, once I formulated the text, I cloned the text, then I made one white and one black, and that gave me the stagger effect when I put them together, the shadow effect, I mean. Okay, however you create your banner, banner, whether it's an image or it's with this method, the next thing that you have to do is when it's finished, you have to publish the page. Now, I have to take a picture of this or a copy or do a print screen. The way I do this is I hold the shift key down the top right hand side of my keyboard I have a key that says print screen I press print screen now that just made a copy took a picture of my computer screen and I'm using Windows 2000 what I have to do is I have to now paste that image into a program on my computer so I open up my Windows paint program and then I click on edit and then I just paste the image into that program. Then I save it into a file. Now this image is a bitmap image and we need to change it to a JPEG. I'm going to show you how to do that in a little while. Um, Alright, so it's saved into a file. Now the photo editing program that I use is called GIMP and this is inside of my GIMP program. I, GIMP is freeware www.gimp.org and um, it's a really good photo editing program. I like to use it anyway. I'm going to show you how I crop this banner out of here. I'm in GIMP and I can cut this right out using the crop feature. Crop to selection. And there's my banner. In GIMP, there's an option where I can save this as a JPEG. I just click on File and then Save As and I can save it into whatever file and then I can change the format from a bitmap to a JPEG. Okay, now that my banner, my banner is created and I've saved it into a file, um, now I have to upload it back into the Site Builder program. So I open Site Builder and at the top of the site builder, there's um, an icon with a plus on it. It's called View Add Images and Files. Um, click on that, and there's a place where it says Add Images. That'll bring a box that looks like this. Then you'll have an option to browse your computer. Um, click on my, com my Computer, and then find that file that has the banner in it that you saved and upload it into your photo box. I've already done that to save us time. So let me get these out of the way. All right, there we go. Now, once you've done that, we need to publish the page. While this is publishing, um, I want to share with you about this website products for Homestead <laughs> users. Um, they're basically just website products um, for any kind of webmaster. But it's a website that I started, and there's the URL. You can click on more info at the top of your screen on the right-hand side, and there is, um, I've typed all the content out for this whole tutorial, and there's some URLs in there, and this website products URL is in there also. Okay, let's see if our page is published. All right, there we go. Now, next thing we have to do is right-click on the banner that we just published, and when we do that, I'm using Firefox. The third one down says Copy Image Location. If I click on that, I just copied the URL location of that photograph. If you're using Internet Explorer, when you right-click the photograph, 
it will give you a physical description, an HTTP. Um, you can highlight that and copy that URL address because you're going to need it for the HTML code. Okay, the next thing we do is we move on to working with it. Find that when you click on more info on the right. Make sure you rate my video today and uh, make sure you come back and visit. I'll be adding more. Okay, here's the HTML code. The top line is the URL for the ad the URL address of the website that your visitor to will go to when they click on the banner. And the second URL, this is the one that you want to add. That's your, uh, your photo URL. Okay, and then right here there's a place that says image title. You can name the image. All right, that is pretty much the way it's done. Make sure you come back and visit me. Um, check out my blogs, rate my video, and have a great day.